All right, people, welcome back. More card review. So today we are looking at the TCG exclusive secret rare counter trap. Uh, you might have saw it in the uh, leak of the eight secret rare cards in Breaker of Meta. Uh, there was like a counter trap card and we're like, wait, what is that card? We've never seen it before. It's actually uh, a TCG exclusive counter trap card. But uh, from the art that you can clearly see on the screen and from the secret rare picture uh, card leak, the card's in Spanish. I think it's in Spanish, all right? So uh, since the card is in Spanish, and uh, if you guys don't know, I actually took uh, two and a half years of Spanish in high school, so yo, yo quiero Taco Bell. I mean, I'm, I'm totally a fucking Spanish expert. I went ahead and translated the card for you. So we're going to go ahead and uh, look at this card and determine, you know, since it's a TCG exclusive, we can only play it in TCG, determine whether this card will be played in TCG. So the name... It's Final Providence. Damn, damn, Daniel. How'd you, how'd you do that? How'd, how'd you be doing that, all right? All right? <laughs> and uh, the effect reads, remember, it is a counter trap. When a spell slash trap card or monster effect is activated, discard the same type of card, monster, spell, or trap, and negate the activation if you do destroy that card. So it's a pretty simple card. Uh, it seems like a counter trap card that uh, Konami would have created a long time ago, and it's interesting that now it's coming out in like 2016. It's such a simple card. All right, it's a counter trap. That's kind of like Solemn Judgment. I get to stop everything, you know, whether you activate a spell, a trap, or a monster effect, as long as I've got that card to pitch, whether it be the respective, the, the same card, the respective card. So if you activate a monster effect, I pitch a monster. I activate a spell, I pitch a spell. I activate a trap, I pitch a trap. I get to go ahead and negate and destroy that counter trap style. That's not bad. Uh, see, my problem with this card is... I don't like the neg of it. I, I don't. I do not like the neg of it. Because you're probably like, oh, that seems pretty good. But you go neg. You go neg. Your opponent activates whether it be a monster, spell, or trap, whatever. All right? You play this card. Then you pitch. You used up two cards to stop their one card. That's just... You know? And I know you're probably, you're probably like, ooh, another... It stops everything. It's solemn judgment. No. No. See, this is where you're wrong. Because solemn judgment's not a neg. You know, whether you activate a spell trap or summon a monster and I hit you with that judgment. I think it's spell trap or monster effects. It's been a long time since I've seen Shell and Judgment. It's been banned for like forever. But uh, yeah, I think it's spell trap or monster effects similar to this. You, you, you do that, I pay out my life points, which isn't a resource. One for one at, <laughs> at the most, you know. I stop whatever you have, we're going even. You know, I use one card, you will use one card. We are even. This card on the other hand, it's an egg. It's, it, it is a minus one, because I got a pitch, and not only do I have to pitch, if it was just any card pitch, oh, yes, that, that, definitely, yes, run this, run this, run this to the fucking ground, if it was pitch any card, because you could literally just, I mean, we've already seen the ridiculousness of freaking BAs, like, BAs aren't even dead, like, they're still there, I see BAs popping a little bit, so, they would love this, as a cost, you know, this is, a, I don't even think this is a cost, I don't, I don't, I don't believe this is a cost, so, uh, it's just, you just discard the same type of card, you know. Fucking just if it's any card, you could discard any card. When a spell trap or monster effect, that would be as would be running triple of this because they'd be fucking you up. Just spell trap or monster effect doesn't even matter. I'm gonna activate. I'm gonna pitch my burning abyss. You're gonna get fucking stopped. My burning is gonna go out. Uh, you know, with freaking uh damage juggler at three. You know, damage juggler at three. Hell yeah, Dem play this. Damage pits a damage juggler. Stop whatever. You and then next turn I'm gonna go ahead and my damage juggler or this turn damage juggler go ahead and get me my search on like definitely. But you have to pitch the specific card in coordination with what card what's going off for your final problem. So. In a sense, uh, let's just go ahead and look at each individual card. Uh, let's say a monster effect goes off and you want to play Final Providence. You have to pitch a monster. Uh, really? It's, I mean, it's, it's the same exact thing as Divine Wrath, except with Divine Wrath, I can pitch anything. It doesn't matter. I just discard a card. So I'm going to have to give this card a neg on that point. You know, if it, when it comes to monster effect, just not handling monster effect, I'd rather play Divine Wrath. You know, I'd rather play Dragon. I'd rather play Solemn Notice. I mean, that, I mean that's a game, but we're gonna leave Solemn Notice out here because, of course, Solemn Notice. I mean, I'd, I'd, I, you know what? I'd rather pay fifteen hundred life points than discard a card. Yeah, life points don't mean shit. It's all about resources, you know. Unless I'm playing, unless I'm deliberately wanting to discard something, I'd rather pay the fifteen hundred than discard a card. So, uh, of course, Solemn Notice is in its own freaking category. I mean, come on, it's a Solemn card, freaking staple at three. No, we're not talking about. Divine Wrath, I would rather have Divine Wrath over this, just for the monster effects, because I can discard any card, not just the monster. Alright, moving on. Uh, stopping a trap card. 
Stopping a trap card is probably going to be the most difficult thing because to stop a trap card, you got to have a trap card in your hand. And there's, you generally don't just keep trap cards in your hand. You know, you, you set your trap cards, right? So you set your trap cards so you can use your trap cards against your opponent. So it's kind of like a weird passive aggressiveness kind of like, all right, I'm going to set this right province. They're going to fuck me up a trap card. I can play this and I can pitch this trap card to stop their trap card. Yeah, but you see, if I really wanted to stop a, stop a trap card with a counter trap, um, we have this card it's called wiretap yes you know stop counter trap stop put it back and if you and you're just like no i don't want to put it back i don't want to do it all right well how about instead of discarding from your hand and taking that neck how about you just go one for one and play seven tools of the bandit yes i went there hella old seven tools of the bandit pay a thousand stop that trap card and not go neg go you used one card your opponent used one card not go neg zero good Spell cards. All right. There's not a lot of cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! that stop spell cards. I think out of all the cards to stop in Yu-Gi-Oh! Spell cards are definitely the most difficult. I mean, uh, what? We got Royal Decree at 3, where you can stop all the traps you want. But, you know, are you going to stop the spell cards with what? I think it's, uh, is it, is it Royal Oppression? I'm not sure. It's, it's one of the cards. It's trap cards, ban. You know, you pay, I think it's like 800 every stamina plays, and you pretty much negate spell cards. That card's banned. So, yeah, there's not a lot of cards to stop spell cards. So, all right. So, uh, and you sometimes generally you'll go ahead and keep a spell card in your hand. It's not that it's not bad. So uh, uh, I mean, what what spell cards do you really want to negate? I mean, I guess maybe some pendulum scales. Maybe go ahead and negate that. Uh, that uh, uh, and it says when a spell card is activated, not spell you know spell a trap effect. So keep in mind, activate it. So if they already got that luster pendulum already in the pendulum zone before this card is ready and he's already doing his thing, you can't stop it. But if they go, all right, I'm gonna put. Uh, luster and the, the pendulum one. You can be like, all right, no, final, final providence. All right, so let's go ahead and clear that. You gotta play this. Pitch a spell, stop a spell. I, I, I'm, I'm probably gonna speak some blasphemy right now, and I know, and I know you're probably like, whoa, 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 whoa. Did that just come out of your mouth? Because <laughs> I'm, I'm a full proponent of this. I would rather... Are you ready for this? Just to stop spell cards, which are probably one of the hardest things to stop, with a counter trap. I would rather play Dark Bribe. <gasps> what? Did Daniel just say something that allows you to... Hear me out, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. Dark Bribe's not a bad card. Dark Bribe is not a bad card. It's just... This is the, the, the perpetual effect of the luck base of just that potential of your opponent just drawing into something better. Even maybe drawing into the same exact card just makes it to tear a little bit. But if you are absolutely hell-bent on stopping that spell card, like whatever you do, that spell card has to go, then yes, I would rather play Dark Bribe. You can, hold up, hold up, hold up. Because Dark Bribe is still a zero. Alright, alright. Uh, it's kind of a neg on your part, kinda. But you go ahead and you dark bribe that spell card or trap card as well. Your opponent loses a card. So, you know, you go neg one, but then your opponent goes neg one, but then they get to draw and they get to go even out. You know, I'd rather go even out than them go ridiculously pot. I'm not saying the dark bribe's a temple card, it's just not my cup of tea because I don't like drawing. At least it's not like you're playing like uh, you know, one for one where you play a card, draw a card, and then your opponent just goes plus one and gets to draw a card off and, yeah, you know, or, or chicken game, you know, where they, yeah, sure, you get to pay a thousand and draw a card, but you played the freaking field spell, so you played the field spell, which, whenever you activate this field spell, you go neg one, then you pay a thousand and you draw a card, so you're still zero, and then your opponent gets to play it, and if they want to pay a thousand and draw a card, then they're just going plus, because you're the one that played the field spell, you're the one that took the neck for activating this field spell, so... Uh, you know, like I said, I think I'd rather play Dark Bride. Uh, just the whole discarding thing, because I gotta discard spells. Spells are arguably, uh, sometimes the most powerful cards in the game, you know? Uh, they're not played, uh, many, but, you know, when they're played, they're, they're played, and it's not, it's very difficult to stop them, you know? And when you look at monsters, uh, stuff that can stop spells, you know, they're definitely applauded for doing their job. I mean, just look at freaking, you know, Xian. Just look at Xian. He stops the spells. Oh my god, you know. The six, the, the six samurais are busting out most of the Xian's. Look at Beast, you know. They're putting in that level one tuner reptile monster for Beast just to stop spell cards. So, that's when you know. But I just don't like the idea of playing this, then pitching spell, and then going neg one, and discarding a spell. Keep in mind, like discarding a spell just to stop a spell, you know. So, like I said, if it wasn't the specific cards that you had to pitch, uh, I probably wouldn't. Mind the card. If it was just discard anything, then hell yeah, let's go, you know? I'll, I, I, I can stop a monster spell or trap, counter trap, just by discarding the card, let's go. But 
the specific card lineup. I'm just not sure how I feel about it. Of course, like I said, it is a secret rare in TCG. I'm not sure how it's going to be worth. I'm not sure how it's going to be sought. It's coming out in the exact same set as Solemn Notes. I mean, you can't even compare. Like, if you're trying to stop Monster Effects, don't even try Solemn Notice. Like, don't even. No, 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 no. You just no, get your notices, you know. So, if you're trying to stop Monsters, no. Notice. If you're trying to stop Traps, no. You know, Wiretap. Or... Or, or if you don't want it to go back to deck, and you don't want to, you don't want to see it at all. Seven tools, you know. And if you want to stop the spells, I mean, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, you can go ahead and play this stop the spell and pitch a spell, but eh, because like I said, the decks that are being played right now, there's not a lot of spells. There's really not, you know. Magic Packers, they play a couple of spells, maybe like their filled spell, and maybe, uh, maybe the spell for Crow to search out, but not a lot of spells, you know. Uh, you know, Cosmos, you know, Cosmo Town. You know, emergency teleport, mainly, mainly spells that you don't want to pitch. So, you know, that's another thing. There's the spells, yeah, but there's not spells that you don't want to pitch. I mean, you can go ahead and fill your deck up with upstart, and then you can go ahead and pitch the upstart, sure, but, you know, majority of the time, you'd rather just give your opponent a thousand and draw into a next card and deck them. So, you know, there's just not a lot of spells. The red is not being played, Dark Hole is not being played. Book of Moon's not being played. There's just not a lot of spells that are being played in the game of Yu Gi Oh! right now. Uh, considering actual spell cards that are in your hand. Now, if you're talking about pendulum monsters, then yeah, sure, but you can't pitch a pendulum monster in your hand. It's still a monster in your hand. It doesn't become a spell until you put it in the pendulum zone, so no, it doesn't count. So, um, I'm just not sure how I feel about this card. I'm just gonna have to give it a no. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna have to say no. So, tell me what you guys think about Final Providence and the comments below. And, uh, go ahead and say, Daniel, great job with Spanish. I mean, like I said, two and a half years, two and a half years in high school, dog. Like, shh. I'm fucking Spanish expert. I could be like this, like the Mexican ambassador with my Spanish skills. Get on my level, all right? So I hope that you guys enjoyed this card review. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And of course, I will be back next week with some more cards to look at. All right, people. Thanks for watching.